Hey guys, welcome back to Altcoin Paradise. Today, we'll be talking about SafeMoon, SafeMoon's consolidation project, and all you need to know about it. But before we begin with this video, we have a giveaway of 50 million SafeMoon tokens going on for our daily viewers. To enter this exciting giveaway, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to enter the 50 million SafeMoon giveaway. The winner will be announced when this channel hits 3,000 subscribers. Curious about the winners? Be sure to check out the community tab. All the giveaway winners will be posted there with proof. If you're planning to invest in any of the altcoins that we talk about on this channel, check out the link in the description under this video to join the crypto market and start holding tokens. And now that the intro is out of the way, let's begin with the video today. What is consolidation, you might be thinking to yourself? Well, consolidation is done for the project's good to continue growth and help the project reach the goals that they have set out. Now, let's first head over to what exactly John Caroni and the SafeMoon dev team really mean by consolidation, as there seems to be a bit of confusion around this topic. Now, token consolidation, at least in the context used by the statement development team, is when the total supply of a cryptocurrency, in this case SafeMoon, is reduced proportionally whereby individual tokens in the new supply have a value per token equal to the old token multiplied by the ratio between the supplies. So, if the ratio between the supply were 10 old tokens for every one new token will be equal to 10 old tokens in value. You can find the value of each new token compared to the old token after consolidation through this equation, T equals S over N. SafeMoon tokens, where T stands for one SafeMoon token of the new SafeMoon token supply, S stands for the original total statement supply, and N stands for the new total SafeMoon supply. So, for example, if SafeMoon decided to reduce the total supply of SafeMoon from 1 quadrillion tokens down to 1 trillion tokens, we can find the value of new tokens simply by using our equation, where S is equal to 1 quadrillion and N is similar to 1 trillion tokens. This would be a ratio of 1000 to 1, so after dividing, you would get 1000 over 1, or just 1000. This would mean that one SafeMoon token would now be equal in value to 1000 former SafeMoon tokens. Now that we understand what consolidation is, there are a lot of people claiming this is just a reverse split. This is not the case as a reverse split, according to SafeMoon, is done when a company is about to get delisted from a major exchange such as Nasdaq and they want to bump the price so that they don't get delisted. This method is partially why reverse splits are typically viewed as unfavorable in the stock world. However, SafeMoon's contracts prevent them from validating new tokens. Once they have already been created and with a burn function within the agreement, the circulating supply will continue to go down over time as people transact and use SafeMoon. Inequities, generally reverse splits, happen when a company is about to get delisted from a major exchange such as Nasdaq and they want to bump the price so that they don't get delisted. In DeFi, consolidations are kind of the same as a concept but done for different reasons. The main consensus is that it will actually be suitable for investors and I'd like to take a moment to give you a quick and intuitive rundown as to what it is and what it means. Consider DeFi consolidation and reverse splits as chocolate bars. On the inside, they are both chocolate. However, they are different on the outside. When they consolidate, they're going to take zeros away by decreasing the supply. In this example, we'll assume that the ratio is 1000 is to 1 because the community seems to gravitate to that since it makes sense for a compatible Bitcoin trading pair across exchanges. We'll use this as an example. The amount of dollars worth of SafeMoon in your bag, whether $1,000 or $100,000 worth of SafeMoon, will still be worth the same amount after the migration. You're not losing or gaining purchase power next to your preferred currency or fiat. They're just tidying up the numbers, and whatever is in your bag, the amount in dollars will remain the same. Only now, the price of each SafeMoon token will be worth like 1,000 times more for each token. So you'll have a fewer tokens and the value of all your holdings will be the same at the time of the migration. The reason for this is because you will still earn the same percentage of the new SafeMoon V2 supply as you own now. If you own 0.002% of all SafeMoon today and when the consolidation is executed, you will still own 0.002% of the SafeMoon supply. So how and when can Safeguard consolidate? 
Crypto experts believe that statement consolidation will happen at the launch of V2 as the lower supply will just be written into the new contract and will happen automatically as holders are transferred over to the new contract from version 1 over to version 2. However, we still don't have any intricate details that could confirm this or our assumption. However, experts are sure that there are other ways that can enact the consolidation either before or after the launch of V2. SafeMoon is also yet to unveil what the new supply and ratio will be for SafeMoon after consolidation. Why is all this necessary to begin with in the first place? Well, according to John Caroni, he said, it's a token consolidation which is not the same thing as a reverse split. However, there is a technical reason for this. We would have BTC and ETH pairings on exchanges, but at the time of listing, we had too many zeros, so the exchange partners could not do Bitcoin pairing. This would solve it, and it is an upgrade, folks. Are looking at this the wrong way? So Caroni himself views it as an upgrade and a way to help SafeMoon on other exchanges by bringing more accessibility to the project as more people have access to these exchanges. Others have mentioned that a higher price per SafeMoon might attract more serious investors, as tokens worth fractions of coins have now commonly been related with rug pulls, meme tokens, and other tokens with no real-world utility cases whatsoever. What investors also won't be seeing is that many crypto projects in the top were decimal points. Many crypto fans, even after knowing all of this, may be saddened by this as they were dreaming of owning millions or billions of SafeMoon, hitting one penny after its long line of zeros. This is no longer a possibility since the size of their bag will be heavily reduced as the value of SafeMoon has increased. However, the amount of money needed to be invested and the percentage of the supply required to burn to reach those levels of monetary gains will remain unaffected. Everything will remain proportional, so you will need to adjust your goals accordingly. Well guys, that's all we have for you today, and thank you PrimeXBT for sponsoring today's video. You can check them out in, down in the description box under this video. What are your thoughts on SafeMoon? Is this feature gonna change everything for SafeMoon? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you guys liked this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos and enter our 3000 subscriber giveaway, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest cryptocurrency news. If you want to invest in any of the altcoins that we talk about in this channel, check out the description links. Thanks for watching. We hope that you have a great day today, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.